Welcome cuties, let's create. Good afternoon. I am going to be drawing out of this book that I got a long time ago. So it doesn't have an author or anything. It just says 642 things to draw. I started this in 2014 and it's not very good <laughs> as you can tell. But it has these little tiny prompts on them that tell you what you're supposed to draw. So that one um, was a skunk and it just all these blank pages. See, I have so many that I haven't done. And today I'm going to be doing the prompt, a sandwich. So I want to get creative because this is what I want to use this book for is to kind of I don't know have different poses and have different things and just get better at drawing and so I didn't want to just draw a sandwich that's the nice thing is you know I could if I wanted to but I wanted to draw I just like drawing people I used to not like drawing people like a long time ago I was more into drawing scenery even though I felt like I wasn't that good at it but or like still life and stuff like that. And I don't know, it's only been recently that I've decided to draw people and I feel like I've gotten really good at it or, you know, decent. I'm still learning. There's still things that obviously I can work on, but I, yeah. So I'm excited to use this book and I'm gonna make it kind of into a new series. So I saw this one artist and they were saying that what they do, and I, I knew when you draw a face, you, the eyes, you kind of draw them halfway of the face. And then from that line to the bottom, you draw the nose line, so halfway down that way. Then from the nose line to the chin, halfway, you draw the mouth line. And then she, I will leave a link in the description of this, um, this video, she draws a mask. So she says that it's kind of like a, you know, superhero mask. And in that mask, you draw the eyebrows and the eyes. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was like, I'm going to try this. So I try it in this and... I really like it so I think that's what I'm gonna do from now on see that's why you gotta like this I feel like I in seventh grade and eighth grade I took an art class and I think I've said this before I like I don't know I feel like I didn't really like learn as much as I could have um, just because yeah I, I've told the story before that you'd be like, oh, I don't know how to do this. Can you show me? And then she would like do it and then you'd like wait a little bit and be like, I'm really struggling. And then she would draw it again. <laughs> and so basically she just drew your whole thing for you. But um, so there's that <laughs> where I feel like I have watched a lot of YouTube videos and have been able to learn a lot from them and to really figure out little tips and tricks of how to make things a little realistic and um, I, I definitely like the more cartoon style so I guess I could say I like realistic cartoon because you know obviously the eyes are a lot bigger and you can tell it's a cartoon but it still kind of has similar proportions of having, you know, the shoulders where they're supposed to be and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And But anyway, so, yeah. So I actually looked at a reference. I just typed in Google, eating a sandwich. And I saw this person, I saw many different um pictures and I picked one that I liked and it was a guy but I just like drawing girls for some reason probably because I am a girl and it's just easier for me and it's more fun for the hair and blah blah and so I mean I could have easily made it into a guy but I wanted a girl so and I decided to give her a bun and I actually really like how this turned out because it just looks kind of it's like very sketchy 
and I actually really like the look. So I kind of just like very loosely went over the lines over and over again. And then when I went in with my fine liner, I went over the like every line like twice. So there's like little gaps or whatever. And I actually really, really like it. I think it turns out super cute. And yeah, it kind of gives it this like sketchy look that I really enjoy. So I think I'm gonna be kind of diving deeper into that in the future. But I decided to give her a bun and then I was like, I want to give her a big bow. So I like gave her this big bow and I was like, I want to do something in the background just so it's not just her. And I end up just drawing polka dots and I leave it at that. I think, I think it's so cute and I think the hands actually turn out really good and I will say this, it really does help to look at a reference picture. So I really suggest look at references and I will also leave another link to another video of this one artist that I follow and it was, you know, six tips and tricks of improving your art. and. I feel like that really helped because, you know, she was like, look at a reference, you know, look at references. And I never, honestly, I never really do. I just kind of like come up with these in my head and I'm like, I'm, I guess this is what it would look like. <laughs> and so I feel like this time looking at a reference, it really helped a lot. Um, so this paper is really thin so I feel like the markers that I have they would bleed through so I decided that this is just gonna be all colored pencil in this book so I'm using Prismacolored pencils and um, I do have a very large set I think I have so I have a small set let me hurry and open my drawing look so I have a 24 set and then I have a 48 and um, yeah, so I decided to use the 48 because I haven't really used them a whole lot. Honestly, this is kind of only my, I guess you could say, first time really, really using them. And so I feel like it turns out really good. I just, oh my gosh. This, I, I feel like I've been stuck in a rut lately of not really liking the way my art has been turning out. And so I'll draw something and I don't post it on social media because I feel very insecure and I think it just looks dumb and I'm very self-critical about it. And so this one I thought was so cute and turned out so good. And so I am very, very happy with this one. <laughs> I love the coloring, I love the the way it looks, it's just, it makes me happy. <laughs> and I feel good that I kind of got out of that rut of not liking the way my art was turning out. And I just want to kind of share that because it happens to everyone. Like, it happens that you'll just have these days where you're like, I do not like this. This does not look good. Nothing I'm drawing is turning out. And yeah. So and that actually happened for a couple days and then I was able to like move on and you know kind of I I didn't give up that was the thing is I kept drawing every day I didn't give up and I was like I'm gonna keep drawing and I'm gonna take my time and we're gonna do this <laughs> and so I do I I yes don't give up persistence, patience with yourself, and yeah. So I don't I don't have much else to say um, other than I really like this and I think it's really fun and I'm excited to for the series to kind of see where my imagination will take me and to see if I can kind of stretch my brain <laughs> you know like some of these things it's like you know draw an office chair and so it's like hmm okay <laughs> maybe I should just draw an office chair but now that I'm thinking about it I'm like oh I could draw like some powerful person in an office chair or something I really should draw boys I just I feel like girls are more fun because <laughs> sorry boys like, sometimes I, I feel bad because I'm like, 
you don't get to have fun things to dress in. I don't think they really care. Or like hair, it's just like, you don't have very many options where girls, it's like short, or long, curly, straight, wavy, bun, braids, where, and then even just clothes, leggings, jeans, shirt, sweatshirt. I mean, guys can wear all that too. But it's like dress, skirt, ball gown. Like, it's just insane. So, yeah. But anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.